Hi, my name is Sam Salaya, and my project is a comparative analysis of the transfer efficiency of solar concentrator designs. This project provides a comparative analysis of different solar concentrator designs through an examination of the optical transfer efficiencies of various concentrator systems. The analysis models a variety of reflective and refractive concentrators that represent the general trend in current concentrator technologies. The results of the study provide a quantification of concentrator design that can be used to drive the design of future solar concentrator technologies, providing an understanding of how optical design of these systems is affecting the efficiency of their solar collection. To provide some background on the project, traditional solar technologies such as solar panels rely on standard photovoltaics, typically referred to as solar cells, to capture and convert incident sunlight into electricity. These photovoltaic cells are comprised of semiconductor materials that work on the basis of the photovoltaic effect to generate electricity. They represent an accessible renewable energy solution that can be easily implemented onto residential and commercial buildings, however, suffer from low efficiencies with most commercial cells operating around 18 to 20%. Solar concentrator technologies represent an opportunity to improve upon the current solar collection techniques. Solar concentrators use external optics to focus light onto concentrator photovoltaics, also known as multi-junction solar cells. These multi-junction solar cells are comprised of multiple PN junctions of variable semiconductor material that respond to different wavelengths, which enables the solar cell to capture and convert a broader solar bandwidth. This broadband capability means that multi-junction cells are much more efficient than their traditional counterparts, with efficiencies of upward of 46%. The goal of solar concentrators and this project is to understand how to design concentrator optics such that they take advantage of the increased efficiencies of these multi-junction solar cells. The project is motivated by the desire to understand how the addition of external optics can impact the efficiency of solar technologies and ultimately make them more cost competitive to traditional fossil fuels. It also stems from a personal desire to better understand solar technologies and the solar industry having grown up in Arizona, a region rich with solar capabilities. The goal of the project is to model and analyze the irradiance transmission of four different solar concentrator models, consisting of two reflective models and two refractive models, as well as a traditional solar cell model with no external optics. Each analysis will model the solar irradiance transfer through the system and quantify the optical transfer efficiency of the element's design. The study is focused on understanding the transmission of irradiance and optical power through these systems for the purpose of identifying strengths and weaknesses in each of the designs for future commercial implementation. As mentioned, the analysis will model four concentrator designs as well as a system with no external optics. The concentrator optics include a compound parabolic concentrator, a parabolic reflector, a Fresnel lens, and a plano convex singlet. Each system design has been idealized and normalized as suggested by Dr. Roger Angel's group such that the only variable impacting transmission is the design and optical characteristics of the various concentrators. Each experimental setup will feature the same incident irradiance defined as the peak solar radiance incident on the Earth's surface, or direct normal irradiance, which is approximately 1000 watts per meter squared. This is achieved by scaling the power of the source within FRED such that the average irradiance incident on the entrance aperture of the concentrator is appropriate. In addition to the on-axis analysis, each setup will be evaluated over a hemispherical range of incident angles from 0 to 180 degrees. Each system has been modeled within the FRED software and utilizes the same entrance aperture, source, and detector sizing to maintain consistency between tests. The sizing was chosen arbitrarily as the analysis of each system is driven by a constant source irradiance and resulting irradiance on the solar cell, not the sizing of the optics necessarily. The following presents the FRED models and sample ray trace for each system. The no concentrator setup places the de detector directly in front of the solar source. The compound parabolic concentrator was designed with an acceptance angle of 30 degrees and the detector plane located at the focal point of the system. The parabolic reflector again places the detector at the focal point of the system, which leads some of the source light to be blocked. The plano convex lens is modeled after concentrator lenslet arrays that use larger magnitudes of lenslets to focus light to various detector planes. Similarly, the Fresnel lens represents a single element in what is more commonly an array. The primary metric used to define the performance of each system under analysis is the transfer efficiency. The transfer efficiency will look at the ratio of average input irradiance to average output irradiance to determine how much additional energy is concentrated onto the detector surface with the addition of external optics. Additional metrics are currently being researched for the use within the project, including the concentration acceptance angle product as explained by Juan Minano and Pablo Benitez. This metric provides the theoretical limit of the system to transfer the flux from the source to the target surface. 
The project metrics will continue to evolve to best quantify the efficiency of the different experimental setups. Moving forward with the project, efforts will be primarily focused on fully defining the metrics for quantifying the results of the analysis since the bulk of the system modeling has already been accomplished. Minor changes to the system design of the parabolic reflector and the Fresnel lens need to occur. Exploration to an off-axis parabolic design may yield a more accurate representation of the system capabilities, and adjustments to the Fresnel lens dimensioning need to occur before it can be tested. Overall, the analysis provides an opportunity to further the solar industry by expanding the knowledge of solar concentrator design. It provides the foundation to designing the next generation of solar concentrators that will look at extracting the best aspects of multiple designs to get the most out of the system. The insights gained here have far-reaching applications not only within the solar industry, but also fields looking to take advantage of the benefits of highly concentrated light.